Hello, my name is Adam Winrich, and this is a video about my process uh, for learning the unicycle. Now, I'm not an expert. Uh, I bought this unicycle in April of 2018, and I've been working on it since then, and it hasn't been easy. And I think a lot of the other YouTube videos I was watching made it seem like it's super easy. You'll have all the basics down in a couple weeks. Well, I'm almost 40, and some of the basics it, I still don't really have down after a couple years. But here's how I've been working on it. So, first, uh, the main three things any unicyclist is going to want to work on. Number one is idling, for sure. Number one is idling. Number two, then you can work on riding. And number three, free mounting. So those are three main skills that are really important. And uh, first, with the idling. Now, idling is uh, what you saw me just do there, where you uh, rock back and forth on the unicycle. And a couple friends of mine who are circus artists told me, idling is the first thing you should learn. And I was like, that's super hard. That's gonna take me a long time to learn. And now I will tell you why it's important to work on that first. So, uh, first, the basics of idling is that you get yourself a wall, something to lean up against. And I usually put the right pedal down. Let's hold on and get up on the darn thing. And then just practice rocking back and forth. And uh, another lesson I got about idling is from Kyle Peterson of Western Stage Props. He told me, go all the way uh, from level to level and that's a good workout. And a couple things you're gonna wanna do with the idling, you notice I have my right foot on the bottom. So you're gonna wanna switch legs, so I'll pedal forward and then practice idling with my left on the bottom. Like so. And something else you're gonna wanna do with idling is switch which side is holding onto the wall. That is also important. And then switch legs again and get down. So what that does is that it does help your balance and also really helps your leg strength. So I found when I would go through periods of just working on riding and not practicing my idling first, my riding would actually get worse. So uh, spending a good amount of your practice time working on the idling like against a wall helps a lot with your leg strength and makes your riding a lot better. And of course, as you get up, your skill in idling, you're going to want to practice taking your hand away from the wall and see how many pulses you can get uh, before you have to grab back on the wall again. So I would say it took me, um, it took me over a year to get up to 10 pulses without grabbing onto the wall. So that's uh, some stuff I have to say about idling, the number one thing you should work on. Now with riding, um, riding is not that hard, that's what most people want to start with. And there's a few different things you can do as far as to work on riding. Uh, if you have a nice wall, continuous wall, just get on your unicycle and pedal along holding on to the wall. Or if you have a friend, you can have a friend uh, hold on to your hand and guide you along. Or you can do sort of what I'm going to do here, and you just hold on to a point and then start trying to pedal away and hopefully and see how far away you can get. I'm going to back up a little bit. And plop off the unicycle. Uh, so that's, I don't have uh, much else to say about riding other than another important tip that I got about it is that you want the pressure you put on the pedals to be even. So you don't want to go like ka-chunk, 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 like that. That is bad unicycle technique. You want the, your even pressure on the pedals all the way through. That's very important when you are riding. And finally, we'll talk about the free mount. So let's see if I can uh, do it again, or at least sort of fail at doing it again. Then I'll break it on down. That's free mounting into an idle. That's uh, been going easier for me lately. So the basic way for, uh, to get a free mount is uh, this method they call the rock back method. 
So you notice I put the bottom pedal towards me, I put the top pedal away from me, kind of at an angle, and when I put my foot here and I step down on it, that's gonna push the unicycle up underneath of me, and then I wanna quickly get my left foot boom, on top of that pedal, and then I will pedal back into a balance and then pedal forward. So I, uh, I found, I did get this um, uh, several months ago, and then I thought I was getting it really good, and I got really worse. So I had to break it on down. So here's some steps that I did to break it on down to five different steps. So one was trying to get used to getting my leg, my left leg, boom, up on that pedal right away. So every time I practice my idle, I would try to get up and lift my left leg up as fast as I could into position uh, to develop my quickness there. And uh, something else I also should have mentioned, it's important when you put your feet on the pedals that you're putting the ball of your foot on the pedal. When I started, I was putting uh, the arch of my foot in the middle. Now you actually want the ball of your foot right there on the pedal. So yeah, so number one is just practicing leg speed and getting used to getting up on the pedal. Then number two, uh, practicing getting up and pedaling back. So pedal back, and then practice getting up, pedal back, pedal forward. That's number three. And uh, number four is uh, something I had to think of myself when I was, it's basically hold an idle while not holding onto the wall, and then pedal out from the idle. Uh, one hard thing I found was like getting up on the unicycle and getting my balance, pedaling back and pedaling forward, uh, it was getting super tough. So I sort of used this as an intermediate step to practice pedaling away from a, holding a balance. So I'm gonna let go of the wall, let me back up a little bit. Let go of the wall and then pedal forward. So that's basically four steps there. So the fifth one would be just trying to get on the unicycle without anything to hold on to whatsoever. So uh, with this, again, you have your pedals in position. And then I kind of think of it, the visualization I have is that I have like a towel that I'm holding in front of me and I'm draping it over a table. And I think what that sort of symbolizes to me that my body is the towel and the wheel is the table and it's like I'm trying to get my center of mass up over the wheel. So I just find having that visualization uh, helps me in free mounting. And you see I'm just going to practice getting my foot up there and on the pedal. Now, those are some tips about learning the unicycle. Uh, my name is Adam Winrich. Good luck.